Like, oh, I'm mean, gonna look at me. I'm doing. I'm standing on my. I'm standing on my hands and my feet are. It's just she, my shoes are on my hands and my gloves are on my feet and I'm having sex. Just fuck some people and shut up about it. I thought you were dead. Sun out of your eyes and be yourself. Heard you were dead. She's dead, wrapped in plastic. That man's dead back then. It was worse than dead. He must be dead. Is this a dead man, Doctor? Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Roast Mortem Podcast. I am Tom. I am Travis. I am your Cody for the morning. And tonight in studio, we have a very special guest. Huh? We have the one, the only, Asterios Coconuts. Whoa. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I feel, well, I'm pretend feeling great. Yes! I'm, yes! I'm show business happy to be here. Hey, how very human of you. <laughs> Wear that smile. Grit those teeth. Well, we, yeah. we expect nothing less. Thanks for coming down, dude. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. So uh, you, you, live, you live in Queens, don't you? Yes. Have you seen Spider Man recently? I saw. You mean like around? Like actual Spider Man? He takes the subway. No, where does he live? He was in Japan for a long time, running the Parker Foundation. The Pakoa Foundation. More modern day Spider Man is all up to all sorts of weird shit. Straczynski had him as a school teacher. <laughs> and then uh, and it was cool because it's like, well, look, this guy invented web shooters. Like, he can probably teach these fucking yeah, he's kids. He's all over the yeah. place. <laughs> <laughs> Wrist That's chisel. exactly right. And then and then Dan Slott put him in, had him open up a new company called the Parker Foundation, mm. where it all, it all Spider-Man's up to all sorts of things. It sounds a little too close to Parkinson's. Does. <laughs> and we got a multiverse mm. situation to deal with even now. Right? Oh yeah, and then all and then every year all the Spider Men get together to fight someone. It's like the it, UN. Yeah, exactly. Only they accomplish something. <laughs> Spider Man. Yeah, they stop success. more loon. They'll do it. <laughs> Love it. Oh. All right, dogs. So how is everyone's week? Tom, I hear you had a bad week. I well what's I had it? a what's going on? I had a uh, a, a dramatic week. Oh, and okay. it's I'm, I'm focusing it down to one hour of my week in which I went bowling. Me and Gabby went bowling. Yeah, I'm very particular with my bowling ball. I lost my good one. I don't have it anymore. So when How I go there, you lose yeah, a bowling okay, ball. Yeah, yeah, really. Well, I mean, it's not like a contact lens. It's like a child. You know, you, they go missing sometimes. <laughs> you got you, know? you got to keep them outside the car when you light a cigarette, and they're just gone. Uh, yeah, all of a sudden you you didn't put in nooch, and then you're fucked. <laughs> so I'm at this bowling alley. And I'm looking around for the right ball. It's an AMF, so they're all like the neon balls. And I'm like, eh, I'll look for like someone who left a ball behind or something like that. And I find one. Uh -huh. Its name is John. It's the there. Oh, the ball's name is John. Perfect 16-pounder with the holes I'm looking for, babe. So <laughs> Got it. I pick this ball up. My first game, I bowl a 210. I'm like, oh, all right. I'm okay. like, this is amazing. Good this is ball. the best ball ever. You're and rock hard. I follow up with another cool couple games followed by some tall boys because it was tall boy night. Do you understand? So, yeah. Yeah. Got it. So I'm there. I'm like, I'm feeling good because I got a particular ball. I'm all about it. And then these two old gentlemen come walking up and they're looking at all the balls. Oh, no. Fucking John takes his ball. Oh, no, John took your ball. Right what? before my last game. So what oh. do you... Whose ball do you use if not John's? Oh, I had to use one of the house balls, and I just fucked that game. So you I fucked, wow. I fucked it to a one thirty. That's how. Holy that's how shit. bad it did. So yeah. John's ball, I miss it, and uh, it was it was one of those things. It's bittersweet because I'm watching this guy take away my winning streak, and then I'm also watching this guy wow. being reunited with his ball. Yeah, probably about a seventy five year old man. That's a Tom Hanks movie for fuck's sake, right? John fondled balls. Cody, how's your week? Good, <laughs> doing. Less ball fondling, uh, just cleaning out my apartment, uh, spring cleaning and shit. I found all my old VHS tapes of Disney movies, and I felt sentimental for exactly 1.8 seconds before I threw them out. Did you jerk off? Not yet. Okay, cool. Did you jerk off to that one frame from The Rescuers Down Under where they put porno in the window? Dude, uh, you remember uh, that one too? That was so weird. Yes. Right? Uh, and also that one freeze frame of Who Framed Jessica, uh, Roger Rabbit with Jessica. Uh huh. You and the titties word, are out. And the word sex in The Lion King. Yeah. You could yeah. masturbate to the concept of sex. 
<laughs> Those are the sexiest three letters of the alphabet, in my opinion. Yeah. Can you name? I can't name. The clouds look like boobs. That's a heady jerk off session. Sure yeah, is. Right? <sighs> it's tricky. You mm-hmm. just uh, you just got to sit down with your free time post meditation and uh, bang it out. How about you, Asterius? All right, look, I'll tell you guys a couple of things. I'll mm-hmm. try to be quick about it. I'll tell why I'm grumpy. Okay, <laughs> so I'm freelancing at a, a, an agency. Now, that's good. Yeah. The, I walk in there, and I see that, oh, they have taps. <sighs> and they have three kitchens, and each kitchen has the taps. And I'm like, this is one of those cool agencies where there's always beer on tap, but no one's, like, allowed to drink it. So, oh, it, yeah, it's like a, it's a trick. Yeah. It's a trick. It's yeah. a trick. The trick. HR exactly. comes out when they see you pour your yeah, second. We have a nap zone at our office, and I'm like, I'm never taking a nap because I'm fired when I do that. That's it. See, now, interestingly, you work in post-production. Man, I used to go to some post houses. Remember one time I went to a post house, and a lady was like, Freshly baked cookies, <laughs> and then she like it was like a tray of like clearly were the raisins. Pyrex dad, no chocolate chip. It was a Pyrex dish, so like clearly <laughs> she, this wasn't just Entenmann's. And then I realized I went to this other post house one time, and they were like, "Would you care for a massage?" What the oh, f- what post houses uh, are you? Yeah, where are you working yeah. at? The th- here, working look, at? here's the thing about post houses, guys. If you want to get your commercial edited or whatever, they're all pretty much the same. Like, you've got, like, a, a pretty good editor there, probably. So the way they compete is on th- the perks. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's like you walk into a place and it's like yeah. electric guitar lessons from Carlos Santana. <laughs> like, it's just, just no, so cool. You. All right, so what was on this tap? So, but then I look closer. One of them is kombucha. Oh. <laughs> and I would, but uh, there's that's a lot of Weight Watchers points. It's kombucha. It's a lot of Weight Watchers. And the other one is cold brew. I only know about cold brew for marketing. Like, I'm not going to go buy a $5 coffee. I assume cold brew and iced coffee are the same thing. <laughs> so I'm knocking back cup after cup of this shit. And now I'm more gas than man. Really? <laughs> and I keep, and I have, and I, it's my second day freelancing there today. And so I have to keep getting up and to disappear for 20 minutes to go to the bathroom. Well, like, I'm going to get fucking fired minutes? for. Because it won't. Because the caffeine ties you up. Yeah. There's no end, man. It's a constricted hole. Yes. Extra constricted. Yes. It's a brown chain of disappointment. Yeah, exactly. You can I, never I get the whole. Okay. You can never get the whole <laughs> chimney sweep. <laughs> you know what I mean? No matter how many times you stick your brush up there. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then the other thing is. Since 1 a.m. last night, yeah. I have been sober. Oh. The plan is to be sober for a whole year. Whoa. Starting a, Last night was the... A I 20... smoked two joints. I drank a bunch of Jim Beam, and I ordered two pieces of pizza at like 12.50. I'm, I'm shoveling it all in there, and 1 a.m. was the cutoff, though. Now wow. i got to be sober for a year. Well, this well, probably doesn't okay. help the spread yeah, in you front of you. Yeah. It I mean- doesn't because I come in here. <laughs> Salt's like, I made a special baggie of, a, a doggy bag of weed for you. <laughs> He's like, I made it special. And there's like, how many? Wait, seriously. I'm watching. I'm really mad at you, actually. Yeah, I feel uh, bad. Well, dude, you, you have bad? to do you. No, I have to try. Do it, man. But I have emotions, now, too, how man. How many bongs are, like, literally, how many smoking implements do we have access to right here? There's the bubbler. There's one. There's Seven a, weeds. I think there's an. There's antique something up, yeah, in there. There's an antique by the way. But we have all. We have so many beers. We have yeah. two bottles of Jameson. How, okay. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen, fourteen open beer containers here. Yeah. No, they're empties. That they're not open. <laughs> Yeah, these are these Shut are wind up, chimes. Wind chimes. You guys yeah. all look so fulfilled. <laughs> oh, we're Undis- happy. Undistracted by your anxious thoughts. <laughs> oh. Keep drinking that coffee. I am. <laughs> well, uh, so thanks, Boomer vs. Zoomer, your wonderful podcast, which kind of put you up to task in a way. They did it. They, L- I, I made a dumb bet because I didn't think any of these kids, the, most of the people listening to this podcast are kids. And I'm like, they don't. So I said, if we, get, if our next episode doubles its downloads. I will go sober for a year. I'm like, there's no way you kids will know how to do that. Oh, they you all be on you, Spotify oh, wow. or oh, you're on YouTube. And they more than doubled it. 
They like quintupled our downloads. So this was like you placed your sobriety on the line. Here. I didn't think they could do it. Oh, oh, I think wow. Wow. I think wow. if we did that for roast mortem, we would probably lose downloads. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. This is. I, I got all these people getting in touch with me, being like, "I wanted to smoke pot with you at your live show this summer." I'm upset that forward, you're trying dude, to go yeah. sober. I, it's just, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> you I, can't, you can't win. win. You can't win right now. Yeah. Man. Well. Well, you win right now because you're down here. Yay. You got coffee. You got Diet Coke. Nuggets. We're taking care of you. We got nuggets. Mm-hmm. I love it. But uh, before we continue, Travis, how was your week? Because I know oh, it was yeah, probably okay. something yeah. If awful. you if you you know if you didn't ask, I'd be a little PO'd. But usually you don't ask, so you know. Whatever. I don't. I don't like asking, but I like to. Uh, you know, we love you. I went to Bostonians. That's Bostonius Dionis. That's, That's a demonym. Yeah. Well, I went there and I ate roast beef. That's my week. Go to Uh, Nick's Roast Beef in Beverly. Okay, there we go. A little uh, little slap. One hurrah for Travis. Okay, so now we're going to get down to, you know, the chopping block. What is the chopping block today? Who is it? Who's on our slab? Oh, you asking me? I'm asking you another question. All right, so I'm going to pose our guest a little, uh, little, little question here. Are you ready? So... On a given day, how many chicken nuggies do you think you need, Asterios? How many do I eat or How need? many can you eat? A potential question. Potential question of how many nuggies. Because we've already fed you nuggies here. Like 50. 50? If I had... Like, if it's you a challenge... To. I'm like, how many do I... I'll comfortably eat 20. Right, But I don't course. know. You put money on the table, I'll eat... Fi- I'll figure it out. 50 nuggies. How long do I have? <laughs> all day. You could be yes, sitting there. I'll eat 50 nuggets. Wait, are they all fresh? When all I start? Okay. So each of them are right out of like a mini fryer bag. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. 50. 50 nuggies. Well, tonight we are roasting a man that, according to my calculations, could eat at least Wait. 439 How? nuggets a day. What are you doing to it? How do you In get that In one number? day. How'd you get that number? I, I looked up poundage. I looked up nuggies. I looked up how many pounds he could eat in a day. How many nuggies he could eat in a day. And I was like, what's up, McDonald? The Grimace showed up. He helped me. Nice. It was kind of like, uh, what's that show? What's that movie with the Spanish teacher where they're like teaching their kids? Spanglish? No. Yeah, I don't know. We watched it in math. It was like. I didn't have the same math. I didn't make Los it a math class. I never made it. I was always no. late. No, it was like this kid who was like, oh, all these Spanish kids cannot. Well, well I want to teach math. these kids. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I want to yeah, teach these kids. You, it's either Stand By Me or. Wait, is the guy that was teaching them Edward James Almost? Yes. Yeah, I know. I can't remember. That's it. But I instead of Edward James Almost, it was the Grimace teaching me how many <laughs> this wow. man could eat. Right. I'll reach around with the Grimace. Yeah, really. So tonight we are roasting a Polish man named Charles Domry. All right, a Polak. Hello. And now for you ninnies out there, you might remember a disgusting eating machine, an X-Man in his own right. Oh, my God, yeah. Terrare. That's sexual episode 32. That's right. Yes. Terrare, yes, with uh, Chris. Yeah, Chris, Chris was on that episode. Yeah, yes. video vomit. Good guest. Mm-hmm. Sexual guest. Do you, have you ever, ever heard of Terrare? Oh, do, now I feel like I don't want to hear. I don't want to put you on gross. A start. I just ate like eleven chicken nuggets before <laughs> this started, and if you're gonna gross me out, I just get to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh God. Well, well, Domry was Tarare's Polish, a long lost cousin. They fought in the same war for the opposite sides. Okay. They were born in the same decade, and they ate a lot of food. A lot of food. I love eating food. Something in the water. Yes. Well, something in so the what, water. Wait, Domery? What's his full name? Did we say his that? name is Char- yeah Charles Domery. Charles Chuck Domery. Okay. Chucky Chucky Dom. Mm. All right. Where a kid could be a fat kid. Yeah. And he's a hungry boy. He's a hungry boy, but in some instances, Charles Domery might have resorted to something a little bit more sinister than Tarare. Oh, really? Oh, well, actually, I don't know. Maybe not. Tarare uh, was an alleged baby gulper. Yeah, he was a baby eater. <laughs> Yeah, yeah a man who ate bad. a baby just out of hunger, just couldn't get enough. Yeah, it's true. You're I, giving I, me I, these these yeah. eyeballs right yeah, now. I believe you. <laughs> yeah. I just don't like it. <laughs> gotcha. Along for the ride, but protesting. All right. So Charles Domery was born in Bench, Poland. Uh, how much did he bench? May yeah, I ask? Probably bench like three. 
that's a lot for Polish weight measurement. Yeah, what is a kilogram? Who knows? I don't know. All I know about is kilogram.com. Is that a uh, dangerous. a delivery system? It's an adult delivery system. Very nice. It goes right to my my penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And they put these this the sound clip in there. Kilogram.com. Gets me hard. Every anyway. time. So he's born in Poland in 1778, maybe. Why is it a maybe? Is he a ma- why is he a maybe baby? He's a poor little idiot. He doesn't know. He don't know. People weren't is. well documented back then. Okay. Yeah. Especially in Poland. So the only people that really noticed his birthday was uh, maybe his neighbors. Because they probably said, like, not another fucking Domri. Because if there was one thing that the Polish neighborhood knew is that the Domries could eat a lot. They used to eat pounds and pounds of meat every day. It's a genetic thing. Were they rich? No. Oh. What? They just steal cats and stuff. Yeah, they're just, just fighting over food. Oh, Jesus. Oh, neighborhood scraps, I see. Whew. Yeah. All right. You ever been in a, like, you just need to eat meat mode? Yeah, absolutely. Outback Steakhouse, every uh, time I'm there. Yeah, I go for the <laughs> every time I'm close pepperoni. To Olive yeah. Garden. What type of meats can you get at Olive Garden? Bread. Pepperoni. Yep. Bread. Sausage. Mm-hmm. And uh, Italian things. Yeah. Real Italian Stromboli. Food. Actually, yeah, we... we had, we have a friend who had a family friend growing up who used to bring him to Olive Garden all the time. And his dad would go, you know, this is real Italian food because no. they keep bringing the breadsticks. Oh, <laughs> all no. sincerity. It worked. <laughs> Those commercials were. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Here, your family. <laughs> so a very traditional way of cooking Polish food is boiling your meat. Yes. Of course, man. Pierogies. You know, pierogies. Right. So, like, such favorites, right, pierogies, we've got those, <laughs> kielbasi, okay, yeah. uh, jellied pig's feet, Not and mm. sarnina, which is boiled duck blood and noodles with prunes. Cool. Yeah, to so those are very traditional it. Polish meals so what, that you'd eat. <laughs> where'd the rest of the duck go? Why isn't that in the food? Just the blood, dude. Yeah. Uh, they, sque- cool. they squeeze it out and throw it in the oven. Yeah. It's like the blood of thine enemies, Canadian geese. Have you not seen a Christmas story? No, man. Oh yeah, you haven't. Wait, is that the one You're with the one leg those lamp? No, oh, yeah, but when they go out to the Chinese food dinner, uh, Christmas was saved by a duck. I didn't Sorry, watch guys, the movie. Spoilers: Chinese duck saves the movie. <laughs> I don't know if you're fucking with me. It's weird. Did it's it? It's fine. I don't know. It's fine. Okay. Well, all right. So in Poland, they boiled meat, right? <laughs> But Domri and his family, they didn't really like to boil the meat all the way. They liked to half boil it. So uh, mm. if you kind of just like kind of cooked. So they just like dunk a raw chicken into this 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 pot for like a couple seconds and then just like eat it. That sounds like a good family. Uh, like, ugh. Uh, yeah. Well, we have a friend who doesn't cook his ramen noodles before he eats them. What? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. What, does he swallow the packet whole? Kind of. Well, the, it's, what, not, it's not. What he, what he does is that he, he breaks the, the package open oh, and then God. breaks them off into little sticks and mm. then kind of licks them and dips them into the, the flavoring. And uh, he has twins on the way. Yeah, you don't need a license for to have a fucking kid. <laughs> no. Let alone fucking two. No one tests you for that shit. <laughs> This fucking guy's turning his, his instant noodles into d- d- liquor-made? Yep. That's fucking... Oh, my God. It's a good time. It's fun to watch him. He I likes to just look at someone's face while they're enjoying something that they shouldn't. So another thing this man, this this grown man does is he takes a, a cake batter, and he, he puts a little bit of water in it, and then he rolls it in his hands like a snowball. And then eats it. He's not dead yet. Why are we roasting? I'm our not friend? roasting our friend. I'm it's just one of our best friends. He, he does. Just eats weird shit. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to yeah. this guy, right. Chuck. <laughs> let's get to Chuck. Polish Chuck over here. All right. So Wait. who's doing slightly less gross things, like eating half-boiled alive chickens? Wait. What's up? I'm sorry. I I, I would just like to unpack this a little more. <laughs> okay. We'll stay. Here. Okay. So this guy is he. So anxious that someone's going to take away his food that he doesn't even have time mentally to cook it. Like, as a child, did they suffer from hunger? No. 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 Okay. He was born well, in the well, wilderness well, oh. of Long Island. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> you know that. A lot of ticks out there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of deer Yeah, does ticks. this guy have Lyme? Does he, like, why is he... Okay, so there's so well, uh, there's right, no reason on. for this. No, not at all. In fact, uh, yeah. actually, he told me a story once. I mean, we're really hitting on it, and we're not going to use his name, even though he sat in on a few of these episodes. And if you go, <laughs> no, back, you're blowing it up right now. Well, no, that's How many fine. Of our friends have twins. If, if, by the way, if you can find out who this is and let us know, that's great. But this guy actually <laughs> told me when he was younger, he he heard the term a uh, uh, watch pot never boils, and he wanted to disprove it. That's that's the kind of man. Yeah. So he's boiling the water to put his hot dogs in, but he still doesn't have the time to Use boil that ramen. water for anything else. Yeah, <laughs> so I thought this guy was going to end up burning his fucking house down somehow. Oh, uh, no, he's a lovely guy. He just eats weird shit. He's like, what kind of man looks like me? <laughs> okay, just one last question about the guy. Uh-huh. So is it just those two things? Cake, cake dough, and, and ramen? Or what else? Hates what? onions uh, with a passion. Onions. Yeah. You, Does he make like a thing out of it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, He's yeah. The guy so I, who fucks up like the burger line. You know yeah. what I mean. I wanted to give him. Uh, so I saw this thing where if you cut an onion into like the shape of an apple and you <laughs> dip it in caramel, caramel. It doesn't matter. Sure, I don't know one which one's things. right. And you give it to him. Take a bite. That's an onion, not an apple. You idiot. You wouldn't have a friend anymore, but that's yeah, well, fine. Yeah. That's Wait, you have you bridges. done this? I or want you... to, but I just ruined it right this now. This is a tough part. And his, his wife listens to this, so she might rat us, but he doesn't listen to it. Yeah. Yeah, You've okay. got to get a lot of caramel apples. Because you can't just be like, I have a single caramel apple for <laughs> right, someone know, exactly. special. Everyone's got to take the take the onion ones and be like, this is great. Yeah. No. <laughs> You need to prep seven good ones and one bad one, and they all have to look similar enough so they, and then you can really only pull this prank around Halloween. Otherwise, it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah it's July, you fucking jerk. Those are close enough. Who the fuck enough? dips apples right. in July? Apples aren't even ready, and who's going to put on the stove for this? We all just got to take a trip to Michael's. You want to go to Michael's and serious? I do like Michael's. Michael's it smells great. wonderful. You want to learn more about Terrari? Not, no. Terrari? No, not Terraria. I don't want, we don't want to talk about Terraria. We, we already want to did talk him. about uh, Domri. Domri. Chuck Dom. Okay. Whereas his contemporary Terraria joined the French army, Charles joined the Prussian army at the age of 13. Which is Neither also- of them joined the Polish army. Well, I think Poland. I think Poland was just Prussia, part, part of Prussia. Oh, I don't are? know anything. All right, keep <laughs> yeah, going. I don't know. They all had pierogies. They all had. I don't know. That was just big Germany at the I'm time. I'm not good with yeah. countries that don't exist anymore. So it, it, whenever you see Prussia, that you just replace it with big old Germany. <laughs> yeah, he's just flopping a big old Germans out. Mm-hmm. Big yeah. old uncircumcised Germany. The fatter yeah. land. Yep. So the Prussian. Prussians and the French were currently at war with each other, and this was the War of the First Coalition. And I mentioned this in Terraria, but let's give a little refresher. All right, sure. The First Coalition was a five and a half year war that kicked off in 1792, which was right after the French Revolution. Okay. And what was the war about? It was basically the Frenchies. Uh, lopped off a bunch of aristocratic heads. Why do they, do, that? they keep doing that over and over again? No one tells them to stop. Do yeah. it, man. It's fun. Yeah, get rid of them. They don't need it. <laughs> they don't need their heads. <laughs> they were all listening to System of a Down, and they made it happen. <laughs> wow. And they got a, bit, a little bit cocky, and then they declared war on the Habsburg monarchy, which is also known as the Holy Roman Empire. You know, oh, whole, you know, the Holy Roman Empire yeah. controls a whole bunch of European nations. Mm-hmm. Right? The Vatican out. Let's go. Yeah. Vatican's the yoke and everything else is the whites. <laughs> that's how it is. They're trying to build a prison. Trying to build a, trying to build a wall in Europe. Well, that's different. All you got to do is fly over the bay. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, but, but primarily the Holy Roman Empire consists of the Prussians because they were mega Germany. Mm-hmm. Uh, so oh, the French this. were picking fights with all their neighbors, and their neighbors saw this as a means of declaring war on the French because they were like, "Hey, we can just grab all this territory." They're like a bunch of idiots. They're just chopping heads off, and they're dumb. Yeah, they're busy. Yeah, it's a land grab. So they're trying to push the French buttholes in. Like pfft. they go in so easily. Why is that? And well, it's the butter. Interesting enough, mm. this whole war was fought along the same lines as World War One. The Western Front, a hundred years later. Oh, foreshadowing. So back to little Domri here. 
Sure. So he's fighting with the Prussians. Unlike Tarare, he's not like the gluttony spectacle that you know Tarare was right off the bat. Because you imagine he's a little, he's a little big boy. He's thirteen years old, right? And then he and his family is feeding him copious amounts of half-boiled chuck already. <laughs> yeah. So we're fine. Yeah. Because Tarare, just just so you know, Asterios, Tarare, when he was a little boy, he used to eat so much meat that his parents kicked him out of the house. Yeah, it's a true a story. Quarter of a cow every day. Yeah, yeah. Something wrong with his anatomy that made him uh, just crave the meats. And his parents were like, "Well, uh, I think they kicked him out when he was nine yeah, or something, right?" Well, yeah, yeah. They were just like, "You're fired as our son." Yeah. yeah. Is it possible that uh, he has some sort of tapeworm from eating so much uncooked raw meat? The, that he could it? just never feel satisfied? Or did he have a neurological disease? Was, well, they or... don't really know exactly what it was. Hyperthyroidism. It could have been oh. hyperthyroidism. We don't know. But, like, if you imagine the boy that uh, on one of those gyro spins, right? Yeah. And he's just, like, he has his bottom teeth out, just, like, grabbing all that meat. <laughs> what is that picture? <laughs> This yeah, you know what I mean? some a people hungry, live like hungry that. hippo of of <laughs> carnival rides. Oh, it's good stuff. It's a good way to raise a kid. Anyway, yeah. So um, he's still thirteen. He and uh, they descri- they describe him as a uh, as a brown haired boy with gray eyes, quite pleasant. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, easy to talk to. Just a regular, normal dude like a Ray. Okay, <laughs> like a like a Raymond. Yeah. All right. Sure. <laughs> Don't worry about that one, serious. <laughs> but uh, and some of his fellow soldiers actually called him Scrawny, although he would do the roughly 25-mile march every day that the Prussian army would do. Did they call him Scrawny like you call a big guy Tiny? <laughs> like is that was that the deal? Well, yeah, like a scrawny. prison yard name? I don't yeah. think that they. I don't think they had that kind of fun back then. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. they were just like, "Hey, what are you? That's your name. Oh, you're fat guy. You're Gordo. You know, <laughs> that's your name. I'm now two on. legs Malone because it was so rare. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, your legs wouldn't get blown off by the sunrise back then. Yeah, just something. A cow sneezed. <laughs> My God, someone learned math across town and your leg fell off. It was weird. It was. It was weird back time. then, man. Past was tough, guys. Yeah, you had to rent kneecaps and shit. We got it easy today. So then Charles Domry, Domry hit a growth spurt. Charles oh, shot up to six three when he hit puberty, which is like roughly your size, right, Tom? I know that size. You're six three. I'm here. Are you six three? I have that. Yeah. Oh, but I don't know if you guys noticed. Clap but I, for six three. I, I I'm, I'm gonna say this. I achieved more today because I came across perfect hair after the shower. You understand this height? Do you look at this pump? You are taller yeah, yeah. because of the uh, the do. I'm 6'5 today. I also noticed you went back to the uh, Morgan Spurlock cut. It's a good time. It's just a good time. That's I not like... for the height. That's just for fun. How it's... many McDonald's do you eat? Well, look, I, w- I walk through town, and I want to be able to discipline kids from a distance. <laughs> so I need this haircut. Tele- and this beard. I mean, th- this mustache. So when I see a kid, I can go, don't you fucking talk. <laughs> from down the block. I'm not dealing with this shit. That's, That's what this uh, facial hair does. But anyway, let's get some you more the out Tom of this Tom Selleck thing going with the Aloha shirt, too. Mm, wow. Yeah, you do. Uh, Asteris and I are the only ones not wearing Aloha shirts. These shirts, well, they were in a couple of years ago. Like, but what I'm wearing has been out for like 15 years, so I'm one to talk. Red no, that shit is updated plaid you got right now. No, well, thank I Maybe it came back around. Yeah, I think but it I did. remember, like, yeah, I remember, like, in 2013, I was in some clothing store, and everyone was like, uh, all these, all the cool dudes at the, the new festival look as the Hawaiian short sleeved shirt. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding. And I remember going just pass. I remember looking at it and being like, I'm, "This is too much of an investment to look current. Like, I'm not gonna go find twelve Hawaiian shirts. I well, like, I'll just wait you for I mean, you cycle out and that cycle is obsolete. Honestly, the like best thing about Hawaiian months. shirts is just go to the thrift shop. There's I like a know, billion of them. I know, like and a that, Macklemore. Interestingly. That day, and this is not a joke, uh, I, I was at that thrift shop because I got a, an urgent call from a buddy who was like, "Wow, I'm at a thrift. I'm at the thrift store, and Weird Al just came in. And he just dropped <laughs> off everything. What? <laughs> and I and I went, are you like, is this a joke? And he's like, no, 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 no. You got to come down here right now. And I went down there, and of course, 
<laughs> Weird Al's not my size. <laughs> but, um, oh, no. but I did pick up a bunch of Weird Al shirts and I gave them out as like Christmas gifts to like my skinnier friends. And so like, yeah, you're everybody got one of Weird Al's Hawaiian shirts. They were all on brand for the festival season. <laughs> They're all wearing fucking what what the color salmon colored khakis, <laughs> boot cut, no rolled cups, and these goddamn the Hawaiian shirts. They're all ready for Coachella. They were all... Oh, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> the venting. Festival season. Huh. Oh. Well, okay, so Domri <laughs> hit this fucking growth spur, right? The segues are incredible. Yeah, I know. I'm great at segues. And now, you might think 6'3". We got a regular old 6'3 over here. But back then, in Europe... That was huge. The average size in 1800... Yeah, we're 200 years ago. ...was 5'3". So this is a big old boy. He's got a foot. He's a big old boy, and he has his appetite got even bigger. Oh, what? Is he drooling? <laughs> is he got drool coming down from six feet, hitting the ground? Yeah. Oh. That reaches terminal velocity. That's right, right. Right around the time of this growth spurt, the Prussian army had a food shortage. And of course. let's be real. I mean, the average ration was really not enough for him to begin with. But he was like, fuck this shit. I'm going to go try the French army, which nice. is what they were fighting. Yeah, they were like, the fuck frog this. legs and <laughs> snails. Yeah. So he stripped off his Prussian uniform and marched to the nearest French-occupied town. That's how you join the French army. Just get your dick out, France. Not even uh. not even France. You can just do the nearest territory. You can go to Louisiana with your dick out, and they'll just be like, that guy's army material. Uh, well, I've I mean, seen it. I've back, seen it. Back then. There's bead exchanges. I've seen it. It was a little different then. You go to the nearest Walmart. Yeah. And you take off your camos that you wore in one army, and you put on the camos they're wearing in the other army. Yeah. And that's how you get the sides traded. But look, he's just walking over, yeah. saying, what's up? I hear you guys got bigger meals. I'll fuck people up for you. Yeah. Good. He's like, I can shoot gun. I can shoot gun. I can shoot muskoot. I can shoot, I can shoot cannon. I can shoot all these things. <laughs> right. Shoot one of them. Well, At least one of them. Yeah. Give him one. So, so he walks over there. <laughs> he walks over there. And now we learned that in Tar- in the Tarare episode that, you know, French might quaff. <sighs> and the fact that Americans do, you know, competitive eating competitions. Right. Like, look at those pigs. We love them. Oh, look yeah. at the pigs. Oh. I think he meant scoff. Scoff. That's what you were confused about. Squaff. <laughs> squaff. Yeah. I meant Still, squaff, dude. Doesn't make it, it doesn't make the word right that you use it. Half, <laughs> of, half of them wrong. Well, you just got to say it loud enough and it yeah. becomes You just right. got to yell it. Confidence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I thought he said quaff. Like he did say quaff. I did say quaff. That's and, a that's, flip. and then I saw you turn and go, what? And then I'm like, let me catch you up. Keep going, sorry. He's like the goalkeeper of this. It's amazing. All right, so everyone's got quaffs. No. <laughs> Everyone has quaffs. And they're like, yo, dude, America does its food eating competitions, but let's be real. France loves people that can eat a lot of food. You know what I mean? Well, they mean yeah. Tarare. Legacy. No, mm. he makes food. Em- Emerald Legacy. Uh, he, I don't even know if he's French. He's like, bam. He French. I think he's Italian. He's from Boston. It I doesn't think. matter. I win. None it's of sucking. This, what, what, what's great about this is, like I said, none of this matters. What do you say? Right. So so Charles walks into this French-occupied town waving his white flag, and the French man- commander came up, and he's like, that's the national flag of France. Welcome aboard. Yeah. <laughs> you guys get it? I okay. see what you did there. Just making sure. It's man. good. Well, you know what? It's deep. But let's go. It runs. Can it I runs get one so of those deep. cans of liquid death, actually? Yeah. Let me oh, have with, like water? I want to. Dude, I'm going to shotgun this. Hydrate. Just tell us. Did they let him into the army or not? <laughs> they let him into the okay, army. Okay, good. Did he get enough food? <laughs> He did get enough food. Okay, because we wow. are honestly concerned. How big did he get in the French army? Okay. 400, 300? What are we into topping out at? All right. He's young. He, all right, so first off, the French commander gave him a large melon, which he demolished whole, eating the entire rind. Whoa. Yeah, he was like, wow. fuck that shit. Mm. And then the French commander was like, hey, generals, come on over. Well, and check out this human Pac-Man I found. 
And they just started throwing all this shit. Probably like fucking beef lungs and moly bread and poop and Why shit. lungs? Like just like fucking throwing shit at him. He's eating everything. It's like a so plant. while they're wiping away their garlicky tears from laughing at this man, they... The uh, Frenchman? Yeah, the Frenchman. They're like, uh, you can join our army. And um, so at that point, to ra- uh, to ra- da, Jad, ta, ba, oh. Charles Domri, okay. Charles Domri, not joined, Tarare, joined the French army, and uh, now they had two trash beasts. They had Tarare and Charles Domri. And part of the terms of his enlistment was that he had double rations. He was given double rations. Oh, he's got a rider. Look at that. Look at yeah, that. fancy man. Good guy. On top of these extra rations, he would use all of his actual camp, you know, um, military funds to buy additional food. Jerky. Because he's a hungry boy. Dude, who needs clothes when you got food? Right. This really didn't satisfy his hunger, though, because Charles hated vegetables. Let me tell you. Hate vegetables. So he was still a child. Yeah, he was still a baby boy. Mm, vegetables right. are hard to like, my friend. Well, you're also still a boy. Thank you. But <laughs> cauliflower is a pretty alien-looking thing. Oh. I love eating the tops off of it because I feel like a dinosaur. Uh, you peck that shit. Yeah, I like peck broccoli. It. I can do broccoli. Yeah, <laughs> peck that shit. Ranch it. Ah! You put that ranch on it? Well, that got <laughs> weird, yeah. That's just, <laughs> just got peck. <laughs> so, I mean... He he liked his raw meat. Remember, he half boiled everything. Mm. But uh, desperate times called for desperate measures, and oftentimes uh, Charles Domery would go off. He'd put his face down to the ground, just eat grass. He oh. would eat uh, four to five pounds of grass a day. <laughs> oh, just to get his fill. Oh, a little ranch on anything, you know. He would just go full herbivore for a yeah. day just to just to have something in his gullet. Yep. If you want to eat the cow, you've got to be the cow. <laughs> That's not true. I've done that plenty of times. Well, keep trying. Oh. So okay. Charles Charles's unit eventually stationed in Paris. They they retreated off the front lines. Mm-hmm. Went to gay Paris. Cool. Oh. Retreat. The Eiffel Tower French wasn't people. there yet. No, no, no Eiffel Tower. So yet. no sad Japanese people yet. Yeah, no, no people being like, "Hey, my dick is in your mouth, and my friend's dick is in your butt." High five. Oh, I understand. Uh, yeah, oh. because tower. Yeah. It's oh, the yes. sexual. <laughs> One of those sexual positions. Careful now. <laughs> it is a rusty tower. A so- lot of those positions, it's kind of like you're just doing it to say you did it. That's oh, not my God. fun. The no- Eiffel Tower? 96ing? Oh, look. <laughs> just have sex with two guys like a normal person. Like, yeah. there's no reason to also be like, and now I look like a V. Like, oh, I'm gonna look at me. I'm doing I'm standing on my I'm standing on my hands and my feet or just my shoes are on my hands and my gloves are on my feet and I'm having sex. Just fuck some people and shut up about it. Yeah, exactly. It's like the Olympics now versus the Olympics in 1930. That's right. It was like they did one flip on the ice. Cool. Yeah. No, they do metal. too much. They do too much and it's like a normal person has a hard time jumping down three stairs. So yeah. just be that My guy. My ACL goes snappy when that happens. Uh-huh. So okay. Just so, a pause. So this man relocates to Paris. I'm assuming there's a freshly mowed lawn on the way, because he's just chomping on that yeah. grass. Mm. Uh, but Paris, uh, it's the culinary capital of the world. Sure. And now you think there's so much opportunity for little Charles here, mm. right? So much French food. Like, what's your favorite French food? Grass. Uh, That's not a French food. That's at everyone's food. They got bread, and they got butter. Yeah. They have snails. French bread is real good. It's yeah. just great. I like those sandwiches that France makes where they're like, we're also going to put some jelly on your sandwich. What is a crepe, not a croque, monsieur? No, what's the sandwich that you dip in the goo? Oh, the... Uh, uh, de, de, de jus. Yeah, au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Oh, that's that's the the French dip. No, that's <laughs> is that no, the, is you're it dipping the roast beef? in jelly. Oh, it's I don't know. It's a fried sandwich that you dip in jelly and it's French. I don't is know it Napoleon? It. I don't know. I got nothing to say. I'll scream it out to interrupt you later. All right. All right I'm yeah, we, up. yeah, look we that up. Do I'm that. I'm curious. Look it up. I don't. I love to dip my sandwich in a gel. <laughs> in a gel. In a gel. What kind oh. of jelly? Just berry? raspberry jam. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So how about a French culinary uh, sounds thing pun called cats? Cat. Oh, a Monte Cristo. Oh, Monte it's Cristo. It's a fried ham and Swiss. Sandwich. Oh, if you said Which ham and Swiss, I could have gotten oh, monster. Shut up, That's Cody. not what's special about There's so many ham and Swiss sandwiches out there. The special thing is they fry the whole sandwich, and then they dip it in red currant jelly. Who does this? Oh, I love it, though. I'm not here to complain. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah it's creative. I always, thought that, I always thought that was Canadian, because I feel like the American style of that is just fucking dipping in maple syrup. I don't know, Aunt Jemima. Is it Canada? No, just no France Black Curant too. Curant is illegal in America. France is technically a Canada too. Oh, no shit! Oh. Like you just said. Yeah. But they don't let certain people in. I heard that. You know? We were talking about it before. You gotta be careful. If you're an American, they'll let anyone in unless you do things. But anyway, more Cody. All right. I mean, Travis. Yeah. Okay. I'm over here. Cody, tell me about what he did. He uh, passed things through his GI tract that were abnormal yes. in our modern One of them, consideration. You know, you think of any modern city, they're going to have a lot of cats. Mm. Kitty, 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 kitty cats. Chicken nugget fuel. Charles had a very uh, exquisite palate for kitty cats. Is that right? Yeah. Like the Vietnamese stir fry. So obviously he was getting these double rations. He was eating grass and he was spe- spending his pay on food, which he picked up a taste for raw bull, bull liver. Mm. Uh, well, awful. Great. They probably tossed that to the side. Yeah. Exactly. That was the cheapest meat at the time. But in his downtime, he was hunting cats. And over the course of a year, he oh. ate 174 cats. All uncooked, leaving just skin and bones. Oh, man. That's you know cool. who else killed a lot of cats? Who? The dog from Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> this was a... I love it. I forget the, the guy. My buddy Paul told me the story once. But apparently, the dog from Frasier, Eddie, would have like his run of the Paramount lot. And the, but then they would just always find dead cat bodies. He would just kill them just for the sport of it. Oh, my God. Because Jack Russell Terror is smart. Oh, my God. They I love won. the thrill killer. They're called yeah. the thrill killer dog. <laughs> so cute, but, like, so deadly. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's another person that murdered a lot of cats. Wait, can I get my eyeglasses? Yeah. If you're going to take pictures of me, I'd like to look less ha- haunted. You have been blind the entire time, right? I need them go. to cover go. up my eyebrows. <laughs> I need them. They make me look more they make me look more approachable. Look at me. Oh. I'll do your t- I'll do your taxes or fix your computer now. Hi. Dude, those are two yes, different things that are great. Dude, well, if you get TurboTax, it's the same thing. That's understand? Exactly right. Mm. Yeah. So, after a year of feasting on Parisian cats, the French army said, uh. you know what, uh, this guy is probably better off in the Navy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. There's <laughs> less cats in the ocean. Less, yeah, ocean cats? What is that? What is an ocean cat? Uh, it's a rat that got on board. <laughs> uh, every fish. Yeah, cat uh, fish. But they live in rivers, water. right? You gotta... Stick your thumb in there and like, oh yeah, you gotta go trolling for him with your goddamn arm. You gotta cover your arm in fish guts and let your goddamn arm get eaten. It's called yeah. mutiling. I've heard about this. If you ever seen someone who does that for a long time, they have like no forearms whatsoever. It's just very thin. But they have the most fish. No, that's true. And they, they also have the most steals from vending machines. That's exactly right. Slide right up there. Slide it in there. Yeah. And you just thumb the payday off of the circular rack. And I don't it. need four arms. I need length. I'm need, gonna do that I need on five arms. I'm gonna do that on Monday. I'm getting a whole bunch of Crisco going into Crisco? my vending machine. Why? Oh yeah, yeah. Do it, it is Crisco. Going all into that vending machine and be like, let me get those expensive almonds you got up there. Well, that's something that I'd like to talk to you about another time, but uh-huh. You know who'd be great at at fishing with your arm or stealing stuff out of vending machines? Goro. Goro from Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, he's got four arms. Yeah, it's a quad multiplier. So he could use he could get two arms, one fish on each arm, use the other arms to snap those fish's necks, <laughs> and then yeah. and then now he's got these fishes around his arms, which are like natural punching bags. Goes over to the vending machine, destroys it. <laughs> Who gets hurt? Not his fists. The fish do. 
And it's only the heads. You're not eating those anyway. The meat's still intact. Yeah. You got dessert from the vending machine. It's a picnic with Goro. Uh, ah, Goro, best fisherman. Go- fisherman of the year. Cat fisherman. Picnic with Goro. That would be a good film to pitch. Band name, Stereos? sex position. Should we write that up? Get that copy written before we publish? Yes. All right. <laughs> you got, Ed, remember when they made a Lady Goro too? Oh, yeah. They she were- was like, uh, she kind of looked... I don't know, like uh, like one of those female bodybuilders on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You know? She was tough. She was a tough lady. But like very, very thick. Leathery. Hey, look, she had. Look, she had. I mean, they're fighting in Shao Kahn's tournament. It's possibly true. for immortality. It's like, yeah, get your shit together before you enter this thing. Work out. Yeah, yeah. It's very true. But then again, you think did, was 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 she like more of a bodybuilder than a fighter? Were these vanity muscles? Who's to say? How Does she long? have the core strength? That's what I'm saying. It's right. like, okay, yeah, you look great in a selfie, but can you go the distance? Yes. See, I'm thinking, how long Good is point. her clit? Like, is it like well, three <laughs> inches, four inches, five inches? It's like six inches. It's like one of those seventy-eight cigarettes. They Seven did footer, Marlo, you know. Well, it's important to know of some arms. of this. Unless- Subway foot long. Either way, I don't fight women, and I definitely don't fight those women. I haven't fought a woman yet. I do it every day of my life. Yeah, well, here we are. Okay. And, uh, let's so get more. Charles is in the Navy right now. He's transferred to the Hotch, which What's is that? which is a massive 180-foot-long, one, 74-gun ship of the line. Hmm. This this ship could hold seven or uh, uh sorry this ship could hold three hundred sailors, but uh, could seamen. also hold an additional hundred people in the hull. Oh, so prisoners or soldiers so. or passengers? Yeah. All right. Now, if you think, what is the worst place for this guy Charles to be on? It's on a ship. I'm gonna yeah. give it to you. It's on a <laughs> ship. Because there's no grass to graze on. There's no cats. Oh, my God. Charles has to live off of whatever they give him. Sawdust and cigarettes. Does he start eating the mast? So right when Charles Domery entered the Navy, Mm -hmm. just so happened the Irish Rebellion of 1798 was happening. You remember that? Serendipity. You guys remember that? I remember, dude. uh, How can you not remember? It should be a crime to not remember that one. I mean, it's in my scrapbook. How about you, Asterios? But it is my scrapbook. (laughs) You have multiple volumes for this one. (laughs) So the Irish are like, fuck the British. And they were like, we just want to have a republic. And that's what they have right now. Good on them. Oi, you know what the Irish is doing? Stuff. I'm going to take care of it. I have a spot of tea after. Isn't it? Yeah. I'll take care of it. That's, I've been working on that it's English It's really accent. good. I'm not being ironic. Like, that sounds good. That <laughs> sounds great, plus, actually. Oh, yeah. it's not, it well, is. it's all about a spot of tea, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, while they were having a spot of tea, mm-hmm. and the British were fucking, hey, yeah, the French were like, yo, uh, let's just throw some troops over there. <laughs> and be like, because we hate the English. We hate those guys. Because mortal could do. enemies. It's like mortal combat. You talked about Mortal Kombat before. Goro, yeah. French mm-hmm. and British. What's the Mortal Kombat equivalent? Like Scorpion Reptilian? Repti- I, reptile? I would think so. Or, yeah. you know, uh, Johnny Cage and the Not Spotlight. Because he loves the spotlight, he, Jonathan Cage. He he does. Actor by day, fighter by night. <laughs> then he'll also fight at, at day, during the day a lot. <laughs> And then, of course, they shoot night scenes in movies. Oh, it was day for night. <laughs> He'll just punch you in the balls and say, whatever, I'm done. I love Fatality. Cage. I, I'll say he had the best haircut in the whole series. Yeah. And his daughter, Cassie Cage. Firecracker. Is currently played by Ronda Rousey. Oh, and you, and you can tell because the voice acting is terrible. <laughs> like, she, like, she's really? just like, I'm Cassie Cage and I'm here to fight. <laughs> like it's and it's like that's the best take you got. They this isn't a live video game, Rhonda. Like, uh, oh. and well, there's even a thing because like her, one of her things is you know she comes out when she fights uh, MMA. She's like they play that Joan Jett song. You know I don't give a damn about your reputation. Right, sure. And so she's heard that song a million times. And then she has a line in the video game where she goes like, I don't. 
give a damn about your reputation. <laughs> and it's like, where are you putting the stress? Are you learning this stuff phonetically like Abba did? Because Abba was great at this. Yeah. They landed it, yeah. So, so she's like the French right now. Yes. Like, I don't give a shit the reputation. Exactly. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. So she's like, she, she's busting into fucking Ireland, right? Yeah. So France is like, let's send over eight frigates. Frigates. Got it. What are uh, frigates? The frigates are like a ship that Big carries boats. people. Oh, okay. People carrier. Well, I hate to be carried on a frigate. Yeah, it's, it was uh, 3,000 French troops, and uh, I, I don't want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to do that. <laughs> well, why not? Yeah, well, you know. So, uh, <laughs> thanks, Cody. That was like almost a bomb. But, uh, <laughs> so 3,000 French troops on these frigates also... Headed up by the Hotch, which is what uh, Charles was on. Right. They're on a mission to Northern Ireland. There we go. And he's just hey. eating shoes. No, he's not eating anything. He, he has nothing to eat. He's on the ship. Mm. Nothing he's to eat starving. on boats, man. Mm. So basically, these French troops are sent over as auxiliary units to help fuel the Irish rebe- rebels. Wow. Uh, you know. Auxiliary French military. Right. If you thought government employees were useless, just think there is <laughs> auxiliary French military just, just doing jumping jacks <laughs> while they're taking fire from the enemy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's think about this French thing real quick. Why? Because it's like, all right, so they helped us win the Revolutionary War, right? A little right? bit. Yeah. Well, I just didn't think you like sure. most of it. <laughs> like most like, of it, yeah, yeah. Like I heard that, like the French Navy was like instrumental in, uh, in making sure the British were not supplied. Like, okay, do the French that. have a good record? It's just like they turfed out so hard in World War II that we think of them like losers. Like, what's their war record? Like, I don't know. Okay, they fucked up in World War II. It's like losers. Yeah, <laughs> but of the rest of the fucking time period, like. No, they have a relatively good history. Yeah, they, I don't know. I'm asking. It's no, no, to it me. was. It was. It was like the French were. It was like French and the English. They ruled the world. Yeah. Right. So, like, we sent over in an upcoming episode Benjamin Franklin, and we're like, "Yo, dog, we're gonna lose this war if uh, you don't join us for like the revolution." And uh, Ben Franklin was like, "All right, let me just sleep with people, and then <laughs> we will win." Through the French, through, through the French, f- through French passages. Vive la France! Yeah, no, wow. they're they're not the cowards that they're made out to be. In fact, they're just grown ups. Yeah, they don't want to. They, they don't want to fight kids in the schoolyard. You know, mm-hmm. they turfed out so hard though. That sucks. It's like nobody remembers the set, the fourteen games the Patriots won that year. They remember the, <laughs> the Super Bowl the, they the lost. Balls, <laughs> the balls had weird inflation right. issues. Remember, <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I'm the sports expert, so let's keep going, you know, before we get into dangerous <laughs> territory. Okay, so things didn't go, go according to plan with this whole dropping off of the Frenchmen's. Uh, the Royal the royal Navy ships of England caught up with them off the coast of Ireland, and a naval battle ensued. Uh-oh. Now, the Hotch, you know, it was firing double decks of 74 cannons on its attacking ships. It was... Shredding the opponents apart. It's yeah, a that's a lot boy. of cannons, yeah. right? Yeah. So now, I mean, really, that must have been like a super sight because, like, I don't know. You, there's not many uh, ship of the lines that had that many ships at the time. So you think a broad ship coming in? Bah! No, there's definitely right. no Pirates of the Caribbean movie that you can get an experience like that in. No, they have like seven of them. Yes, like and none uh, of eight, them. Will eight do of them are this John just... Depp. John Depp is shooting out of the cannon. <laughs> Yeah, he's, that's, that's he's his, firing. That's what he does. Yeah. He's like, well, that's what they did in the movie. He's just screaming Hans Zimmer as he's... No, John Depp was just jerking. He well, was jerking his meat. It's important that he does Depp that. Meat. But look, bring us back to the Hutch. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so it was a very impressive show from the Hutch. And uh, both the British and the French took major damages. Oh. Um, and if you imagine in these battles... You know, you think of, you know, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean where they're just like shooting off. That's <laughs> shooting my bottle off the table. Yeah. yeah. So you imagine like shooting off these cannons, but uh, there was so much gunpowder in the air and like, you know, burnt smoke that. I love that it smell. Was, it would cause this like caustic cloud that would kind of hover over the waves. I hate mm. that smell. And it would blind 
like the the people that were shooting the cannons and like people on deck, right? Which huh. it's kind of crazy because like you're fighting, you really can't see what you're doing. You're just doing the actions you've learned. Mm-hmm. Right? Muscle memory without prejudice. It's like muscle memory, right? It's like playing Fort Fort Boys. It's like playing oh, playing oh, Seven Men. Oh, Fort Legends. Fort Legends. Oh. It's like playing Minecraft. Find the diamonds. Yeah, look for diamonds. You find diamonds, and you don't even know how to do. So you got a bunch of uh, French uh, gentlemen and a, and a whole bunch of English gentlemen who don't agree with them firing at each other, and you got these caustic gases happening. Yeah. So through all this smoke and thunderous booms and this caustic gas, mm. there's Charles sitting in the middle of the deck, chewing away. Um, he's just chewing. What's he chewing on? And a deckhand saw him, and he was like, Hey, uh, what's this guy just sitting in the middle of the deck just eating while we're fighting? We're just trying to fight these English off right now. Yeah, everyone should be in on this. So he walks over to him, and he's like, what the fuck is that? And he just stopped. And he saw Charles. He's just chewing away. And Charles is eating the severed leg of a sailor that had been hit by a cannonball. Oh, 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 of course. (laughs) He hadn't had meat in so many weeks. He saw that leg. He's like, going for it, dog. Don't need to boil this one. Fuck it. Oh, oh, that's good. That's, I'm happy now. That's rare, yeah. Now we got what we wanted, a little juice. So the deckhand realized the cannibalism going on, and uh, he called out to his fellow fellow sailors, and they all jumped on him, wrestled him for this leg. They threw the leg overboard. (laughs) <laughs> oh, why? Just him. let him yeah. eat it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, they're like, I don't don't eat God's leg because God uh, made all legs. That's true. He made most legs yeah. except for the bowed ones. Yeah. Well, the bowed ones that the devil made those. Yeah, dude. Oh fuck! You all right? Are you gonna throw up? <laughs> I'm close. Because if you are, I can kill some time for a minute by playing these Ronda Rousey clips. Play I'll it. Just do it. Okay, just... I'll, let me find them. Oh god! <laughs> now you're on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Ronda, I like this. Watches Dragon Ball Z. Oh, Ronda. I'm still looking. Keep talking. All Just right. don't throw up. I'm not. I'm trying not I'm to. I'm really worried about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't thrown up yet. Yeah, there's been no voms during the cast. Yeah, we, we've we actually never had any. And, Thank God. You know, for, <sighs> for someone who's uh, doing doing uh, the, the sober thing right now. Trying. Uh, Today right. sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this, is the, oh, this is the highlight of my day, and that's terrible. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Charles has been caught doing cannibalism, and they threw the leg overboard. Right, and, delicious meat. Yeah, just throw that meat overboard. Just delicious meat. And but uh, uh, fortunately for Charles, the battle was already over. The, oh no! The French had lost, and the Hotch had been captured by the royal captain John Borles Warren. Oh, and. Uh, all the true, all the French troops had surrendered, including Charles, and they were taken to a prison camp in Liverpool. Oh, okay. Well, okay. that's where the battles are from, isn't it? Yeah, scouses. All right. <laughs> Continue. So, if Charles thought that military rations were meager, his his military prison rations were oh. even worse. You, you just get to eat toothpaste and sawdust in military prison. Right. So back in the day, armies, the Army of Origin actually paid for their inter- interned prisons meal, prisoners' meals. Oh. Okay. So the French were paying for to our, uh, to the captured, uh, the captured Chuck's soldiers' meals. meals. Yeah. yeah. So, Which I'm assuming did not go over well most of the time. Well, the French military standard prison, prison ration was... 26 ounces of bread, a half pound of vegetables, two ounces of butter, and six ounces of cheese. So there was was no meat involved. Yeah, there's no protein in there. Vegetables. Yuck. Gross. You said Chuck did not like them. Yeah, Chuck was like, I hate these veggies. No vegetables. And for those of you at home listening, potatoes do not count as vegetables. No. Starchy. They don't. Mm. If you like to eat french fries... 
Not a vegetable. It's not vegetable. Yeah. You're I f- like to eat them, too. I they're count delicious. them as vegetables. Oh, they're great. No, they're great. I'm just letting you know, the listeners, as an educational podcast, mm-hmm. that potato isn't a vegetable. But if it's a waffle fry, it is a vegetable. Delicious. Uh, all right. Well, look, we'll we'll bring that up Let's on another be honest, episode. Though. Let's be well, honest. I don't want to be honest. I'm not going to be honest with you right now, because I, I just... I, I'm mad. I'm already mad about this. Okay? Un- understandable. All right? It's so okay. you got a guy in prison, a poor man, a trash can of a man, who's just dying to get some meat, and they're giving him waffle fries. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, Asterios, if you had to pick a type of vegetable, like basically potatoes, what what, what shape would you pick? <laughs> Super pretzel. Super pretzel? <laughs> I like tots. Okay. <laughs> Wait. What's a super pretzel? Otherwise known as a large, soft pretzel. But I mean, what is bread? But it's got uh, but it's probably just from vegetables in there somewhere, I guess. Yeah. Wait, what if you pretzeled it? No, that's. Wait, not. these are the pretzels that come out of, like shopping carts. Yes, and shit. you get yeah. them at the shit the gay ball game. <laughs> Eat super pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bell. not just a pretzel. It's, it's super pretzel. <laughs> Is this your shopping, or is, am, I, am I buying the food you're going to bring home to your family? You can get super pretzels at the supermarket. They come in six packs. You can wow. get them at Target You know, when they have their popcorn machine. Get them in the movie theater or at a ball game. So he might, got, got, he might have got some of those vegetables in jail. Well, mm-hmm. super pretzel every day. Yeah, those are vegetables. Yeah. All right, so, so the British guards noticed that Terari was... Oh, fuck, I keep saying Terrari. Yeah. Oh, I didn't not even know okay. that time. The British, the British knows that Charles Domery is starving, so they give him double rations. For being a prisoner? A hungry Just prisoner? to keep him alive. Just you gotta to keep, keep him alive. You gotta keep your prisoners alive, otherwise, uh, otherwise that's war crimes. Yeah, right, yeah. back in the day. True, true, true. So they realized this still wasn't enough, and they kept giving him more and more rations until he was on ten rations a day. And that was the equivalent of... 16 pounds of bread and 5 pounds of vegetables a day. Mm. It's a lot of food. Uh, th- that'll do it. I wish I had that now. You know what I mean? That sounds like a good deal. Like, I, I could eat a chunk of that and trade that for, like, a Capri Sun somewhere. He wasn't trading shit, though. I know, I know, but I, I, be- I feel like that's what I would do because I don't have a bottomless stomach. I believe that's all the materials you need to make an Indian wedding cake with. Cody, you had... Yeah, s- just curry powder. You had yeah. six sandwiches. Yeah, just a <laughs> stack of six horrible dry sandwiches in my... <laughs> recent past. But and much we'll like the Indians, he used every part of the sailor. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> right? Yeah. This guy's Perfect. great. Yeah. Very, very resourceful man. Go collect that limb, sir. But no. A five cent deposit. No, Cody. This was not enough for for Charles Domery. He needed his meat. He needs his fresh Pro- protein. He needs fresh raw meat. Mm. So first off, there was a prison cat. You know, like a little mouser. He's catching all those rats, right? Oh. That shit disappeared. Of course. It was gone. Well, it's good to have rats if you like eating rats. I mean, he ate, he ate 174 cat cats in Cats in a summer, yeah. So the one cat in the prison is going to be missing. Uh... Kebabs. Stir fry. Mm. And Charles also caught at least 20 rats that he ate raw. 20 rats, you know, just probably bopped him on the head or some shit. That's fucking nimble. It is, yeah. Like, rats are fast, man. You well, gotta... he might be saving some of that hard bread and just chucking at it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was John gonna Elway say, style. Like, style my, uh, he's got a hell of a baguette backhand, you know what I mean, to render some rats unconscious. So 20 was, like, the minimum, because this is what, like, the guards counted. So I love that. Have... The guards are just like, oh, that's his 10th one today. Holy shit, he's up to 18. That's 20. Fuck, he's good. So when he he couldn't always catch rats in this jail cell, so he would regularly eat the prison candles. And if you remember, <laughs> what if, if you remember <laughs> candles back in the day had fat in them. So right, yeah. So he would. Uh, I'm sure that made him very popular with his cellmates. He's like, you trying to read, dog? Just gonna eat this. I don't need to read. I no. need to eat. I need to eat it. Oh, candles goodness. gone. Well. Why not? You know, you're only one man. Yeah. Might as well eat candles. Yeah. Like, uh, whenever I go to Vermont, I always stop at Yankee Candle for Dude, a nice snack. Those are delicious. Yeah. Uh, candied apple. Oh, God. Uh, Disgusting. Midnight Ra- Wish. Can- that Midnight was, Wish. That's oh. a delicious candle. Uh, what was it? Candied onion. 
Oh, delicious. I love candied onion. Uh, Eskimo kisses is also uh, scrumptious. It is. So this man's in jail. What? Do, what's going on? He's just eating shit. Okay. <laughs> just eating shit. All right. I was. I was All trying. I was trying to drive you forward with the no, story, I mean, but you know, you just shit. playing That's it on the top story. of that one. That's yeah. the story. story. A so, man who ate shit. Yeah. So uh, he was drinking prison water. Okay, Flint, Michigan water. Yeah, so right. if you imagine Flint, Michigan, like, they wouldn't give these prisoners Flint, Michigan water. They would give them beer or sometimes oh. uh, distilled rum or boiled uh, drinks like coffee or tea in order to prevent, uh, you know, uh, waterborne diseases like okay. lead in the pipes. Okay, A like waterborne Flint, disease, Michigan. Like lead. Yeah. There you go. Waterborne disease. Like Charles water. didn't give a fuck. He was like, he's, uh, I'm drinking it. So eventually, Charles was sent to the medical ward. Uh huh. And this wasn't because of anything that he was drinking the stagnant water or the rats. No, it was all good. Basically, the prisoner, the people that were watching over him were like, this guy's weird. Just send him to the medical ward. <laughs> now. Oh. Oh. So they still kept him on the 10 rations a day. But now he's under medical surveillance, so he had to get a little crafty. There's no rats in the medical wing. Oh, crafty. So he would eat other prisoners' medicine while they were sleeping. (laughs) Uh, Uh, I have polio. Where'd my medicine go? Yeah. (laughs) That guy ate it. Yeah. He's trying to stay alive. But apparently none of them actually affected him. So he'd eat these drugs and... Oh, wow. He was like, eh, whatever. Proper superpowers. Eventually, the commander of the prisoner was like, Hey, uh, this guy's weird. I need to contact someone. So he contacted the most wonderfully bureaucratic British government agency ever, the Commission of Taking... What? Sorry, sorry. The, the, com- the Commissioners of Taking Care of Sink and Wounded Seamen... And also care of the treatment of prisoners of war. My God, I'd love to be the head of that department. Can we get an acronym? Right. Holy uh, fuck. Yes, Dude. or also known as the C-O-T-C-O-S-W-C-T-O-S-P-O-W. What? Do your you, best to phonetically pronounce I'm that. I'm here to take care of you. Cus, cub, and I don't s- give a fuck about how you're doing. It's the cus cub squat pa Wow. All right. Well, perfect. Ba- Thank you so basically, very much. Basically, it's the Costco of British agencies. Yes. So there, Charles caught the eye of a doctor, J. Jay Johnston. Okay. Dicks that, out. You didn't make that up just now. J. Johnston. J. Johnston was out. an actor on Mr. Show, wasn't he? Was yes, it? he was. Yeah, he was the. Uh, and he the also, Mount Everest guy. I love he, him. Yeah, he's, he's a guy who kept telling the story of Everest, and then also oh, on Bob's guy, Burgers. Yeah. Oh. He's Jimmy Pesto's dad who runs the store across the street. Yes. Ah! That's the Pesto. So this James is Johnson. the guy looking at wow. James Zomri. <laughs> so use your fucking little imaginations, our listeners, and just get into that Jay Johnson mode. Oh, one time I was at a party. Yeah? And I was working for a lady who was, like, in Hollywood. And then I'm, and then I got so stoned that I accidentally dropped a bottle of, a full bottle of beer all over the floor. And and I'm like, oh no! And I'm trying to like move my broom around, and I can't do it. And then who comes over to me and goes, "Oh, I'll take care of this. You just relax." Jay Johnston. Wow. And he cleaned up all the broken glass Fuck. and put it in the garbage. He's a real mensch, this guy. Yeah. I can't say enough nice things about Jay Johnston. He has a nice guy face. He was. Here's the thing. It's a party. It's after midnight. There's no benefit to helping me, and he still did. Oh. He wasn't getting social wow. credit. He was already popped. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> he was a nice guy. All right, but so how did you think Johnson help this big <laughs> fat loser? So this big fat loser, <laughs> he's like, yo, let's see how wow. much this boy eats. Oh my because, god! <laughs> because because guess what? I am a I'm a six I'm a 19th century fucking doctor. Let's do some experiments. So Nin- Jay Johnsons 19? are are great people across the board. It doesn't matter what time you exist. Yeah, it's Jay like Johnson's he's Doctor Who. He just regenerates. You gotta think that everyone else, everyone has tried everything else. They've given him ten rations. They put him on a ship where he has no rations. <laughs> like, okay, 
Let's see where the bottom is. Is he going to fall asleep? <laughs> and he's going to eat his sleep? Like, that's clever. Where's the bottom to this boy? Yeah. <laughs> you got to know your limits. Yeah, exactly. push him. Push him. So, ready for the super scientific study? Never. Are you ready, Cody? Never. Yes, you ready? get it to it. Okay, so 4 a.m., the doctors give Charles four pounds of raw cow udder. Oh, no. He gobbles what? that shit up. He's like, hell yeah, I love this. Okay. 9.30 in the morning, they gave him five pounds of raw beef and 12 large tallow cal- ca- candles. Candles. So they candles. gave him, so they they give him beef him and candles. candles. That's okay. classic. You candles. go to Eddie's Steakhouse, the candles are there like the bread. You're supposed to eat them. Yeah, it's, so it's the not candle- romantic. Every can- Chinese buffet, it's just right next to each other. There's the beef lo mein. And, and candles. Then, well, yeah, I call them Ikea candles. shots. It was, about, know, a, it just... was about, about a pound of candles. <laughs> pound of Yankee candles. Well, well that's good eating. And yeah. of course, there's that famous John Hughes movie about a girl who can't wait to eat her birthday cake. There 16 you go. candles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But she it? was only 12. I do. And I know, but she was extra hungry just like this guy. <laughs> she was hungry for a lot of stuff, she you was. know? But she, So he got know? that He got that shit. He also got a bottle of porter. And for you, for you that don't know about uh, beers, and I don't know about beers. I don't think porter is a beer. Drink, uh, no, is. porter like is a beer. It's like a real thick. It's, it's like, the, it's the beer that looks like soup. That was a yeah, wine. Yeah, it's just like, oh, okay. I've I get had it. it You're fancy. Yeah, right? Yeah, I It's fancy beer. If yeah, Babushka's yeah, yeah. made beer, that would be it. So at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, they gave him another five pounds of raw beef, another pound of candles, and three bottles of porter. Damn. Yeah. Fuck. So he ate a lot of pounds. So of stuff. Do you have a collected number on this? Does it matter? It's about 16 pounds of shit. Oh. So does he tap out at any point? Like, no. What happened? <laughs> no. At the end of the day, Charles never shat puked or pissed his heart rate remained the same uh, regular uh, constant you know fucking tempo like heavy hole Blast yeah, right. beats. that's a spot thank right. you and then his skin temperature never raised and interesting enough you know because we, we talked about terrari he had those like skin flaps and jowls shit, jowls that came off his body gills yeah, he was like one of those guys from like my my six hundred pound life who loses all the weight and then they're just wearing that flesh skirt all day. Yeah, you know, just wrapped around them knees. Apparently, mm. apparently this dude did not have any skin flaps. He was just a skinny boy and he wow. did it all. He didn't. So at six fifteen, they released him back to his spe- uh, to his cell. The experiment was over, and. Uh, Apparently he was very cheery. He danced around. He got his, free. He, got he danced free around the medical wing, smoked his pipe, and drank another <laughs> bottle of porter. Yeah, he was allowed a pipe and a bottle of porter. I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what was wrong with this boy? Hyper somethingism. Right. We don't really know it's, because he's an anomaly. Right. Oh, wow. We Excellent. don't really know too much because extreme cases of hunger, which is known as Polyphagism. Polyphagia. Polyphagia. Yeah, you want to eat for many. You want to eat a lot. Uh, so we we've Maybe. never had a, that extreme case of polyphagia uh, in modern day, besides Serrare and and Domri. Wow, damn! It, it stopped for some reason. You know, there's competitive can, competitive eaters like right. Joey Chestnut. Right, he just like sucks down those hot dogs. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> what's that? What's that cute girl's name? The Black Le- Widow. Yeah, the Black Widow. That's, that's what one of they them. called her. That was her nickname. I don't know her real name. No, but they I know called Black her the Widow. Black Widow. That's yeah. A- Who is Terrare in the Terrare episode? You said oh, it was Mickey Joey- Sudo. That's Mickey Sudo one. was uh, an attractive, right. competitive eater. So they-, they can eat copious amounts of food, but like they're not doing that shit every day. They don't need to eat it. No, they're binging. Right. So some say you might have had hyperthyroidism or like a damaged omlongata. Or maybe a ventral time? medical... What was, it? what was it? One more time. Yes, um, say what you thought oblongata. Oblongata. <laughs> well, that's that it. is good science. Can I have another one of those liquid deaths? Yeah, drink it, dude. I, well, look, I am. So you got damaged thyroids or oblongatas, which yeah. I'll, I'll just say I don't give a shit. Yeah, dude. or a ventral medicinal, medicinal marijuana. 
That's what I'm going to say it is. Wait. Something no, fucked you, up you with can't your neck. No, 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 no. You like can't that. fuck that like that. You can call him human sleeping bag. Ventral metal nucleus. Great. You can call He's got garden hoods. Do you want me to try and read that? <laughs> yeah, you can read it if you want, dude. What's going on with this? Check story? that shit out. Or bottom. Just look over here. Damaged am- amygdala or ventromedial nucleus. Yeah, that medicinal marijuana. Sense. He's got that medicinal... Make any sense. And, Guess and, what? He's got medicinal marijuana. But you must remember to quote us on all your theses about yes. science. Yeah. So you basically, know, that all those shits regulate fear and hunger. Of course. So eventually, the French captives were released from Liverpool. A lot of them had be- headed back to France. Some of them stayed in England. We don't en- exactly know what happened to Charles Domery. He, but most likely he stayed in Britain because uh, there was no other mention of him after this fact except for in 1852 hmm? by a man you might know. His name was Charles Dickens. Oh. Hey, okay, yeah, yeah. What does he, what does he say? So Dickens said in reference to Charles Domery, Now, this is my opinion, that a man like this, dining in public on a stage of Drury Lane, would draw much better than a mere tragedian than who chews unsubstantially on words rather than whole beef. Okay. Whole beef. Well, I mean, you kind of read that, all right. I read it kind of. You did. (laughs) Not good at reading, dude. Oh. You don't need it. That's what this show is. So we have we have Charles Dickens who's like He said like, words. He's like he saw this fucking skinny fat fuck and was like I've seen better parlor tricks but also it's not bad. Yeah, it's better than those actors. Oh, thespians. Yes. Well, whatever. So by 1852 Domery would have been roughly 74 years old. Wow. Now, I don't know if that trash piece could survive at that point. Well, not if you're eating candles at that rate. Your yeah, bowels right? have got to yeah. be... Do you think there's, like, pieces of shit that he came out of his butthole that were just, like, poop-shaped candles that you could burn later? I don't think he ever took a dump. Uh, oh. That's the thing. Just because he, if everything. he was ever gonna, it would have been there at the medical thing. His heart rate don't change. Yeah. He, this guy... What the hell? He's an ex man Yes. He's like a man that was exed. <laughs> now he's different. You mean like Earl Simmons? Yeah, like... Uh, well, no, like DMX. DMX. DMX, yeah. yeah. DMX. I don't think DMX has ever taken a shit. He's never paid his taxes. Yeah. Why would he take no. a shit? Why would he take a shit? Yeah. And yet the government turns to him for help in, the, <laughs> in those movies? Uh, Triple F, <laughs> State of the Union. State of the uh, Union. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that... Is the end? We don't Wait, know. So we don't know how he died. We don't know how he no. died. Right. Look, I invite Asterios to come out from his home, oh, thirty plus miles oh, away so from us, away. and you don't even have an ending to this. I don't know how he died because here's what I'm looking for. Then they cut him open and found a big tapeworm. The <laughs> end. Or they cut him open and they found a hole, in a, a coke can size hole where his brain was supposed to be. <laughs> the end. Uh, a 30, the hell? No, we don't 36, know how he died. 36. We don't even know that he died. Well, he, he might, might still be still, alive. Wow. He's stalking the streets of London town. He actually changed his name to Jeff Bezos. Wow. And now he sells Amazon discount cards. Now he eats just, billions of USD every yeah. day. Yeah. He just two days chicken McNuggets to his throat. <laughs> Well, Travis, I gotta say, it's an interesting script, but I wish there was an end to this book. There is no end. I feel like this is just Scooter never-ending story. It's over Ouroboros over of Man. Oh, Ouroboros of Man! But isn't it better this way? That the man with the never-ending hunger also has a never-ending story? Subsists. Yeah. Yeah. The answer is no! I want to know what happened <laughs> to him! We don't what know! What happened to Charles Dabry? Yeah, Charles Dickens knows, maybe. Charles Dickens doesn't know shit, man. Yeah, his dick was hard. It was dick in. I think he choked it, on an olive that had a toothpick in it. He, he just assumed yeah. it was a good olive to eat, but 
toothpick. I mean, or it could have been an Applebee's appetizer. Uh, serious. If you had to make a death for this guy, what would you think it would be? Yeah, strange toilet heart attack. Elvis <laughs> Presley him. Yeah, toilet yeah. heart yeah. attack. Yeah. Classic toilet heart attack. Hell yeah. Tale as old as time. <laughs> was he on the was he on the shitter or the bidet at that point? He probably had to take a Probably like Andre the Giant, he had to poop in the tub. <laughs> oh, tub pooping. I've never had to resort to that. Well, well you're not Andre the Giant. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm Cody. Still, I'm still Cody. growing. Thank Cody. you, sir. Cody, in the, wide, in the wise words, I get knocked down, but I get up again. Yes. There might be shit on my ass, but I got knocked down. You get up again. But I get up again. You in always, the tub. You always get up again, regardless of... The crustiness of your cheeks. I <laughs> do not get up unless I know it's gone. Tom, how do you, you think what. he died? How do I think he died? Oh. He probably got. He probably died when some asshole was inventing a bicycle. That could be your <laughs> right. banana. Yeah. The and banana he, stood, he stood in front of it, thinking it was a hot churro. <laughs> And all of a sudden, down the cobble street, you got these fucking English bruvs coming on my way to a spot of tea. And there you go. You're fucking run over for the rest of your life. I.e., you're dead, you fat fuck. <laughs> That's you, it. You can never be unrun over once you got trampled on. That's right, Cody. Do not step on snack. This is the life we live. Yeah. So if you're going to eat that much, you got to look both ways when crossing the street. I heard that his gunt skin got caught in a trolley car, and it dragged him to his very death. In the streets of London town, you can still hear him screaming. I'm hungry. To his very day. I'd like additional food. Oh, my goodness, Half yeah. boiled. I found all these clips around Razzie if you want to plug this in. Just I don't play know it you... on your speaker. Okay, hold on. I, play it into the mic. Say the clips. Here we go. I will not negotiate. Katana said you would talk. Not with humans. How do I earn your respect? <laughs> That's horrible for... Drill Sergeant Blade reporting. No vigilante justice, Scorpion. My clan isn't bound to your laws. Care to test that statement? Your daughter writes well. I like to think she gets it from me. Oh, she's so bad. That's not great. Turn it off, Asterios. No, one more! There's only one leader here. Then prove yourself worthy. I proved that a long time ago. <laughs> okay, that's not She great. proved it a long uh, time ago. Oh, my God. It's like she's trying to eat the microphone while she's reading the lines. <laughs> I proved it a long time ago. Exactly. <laughs> Ease up, Domery. <laughs> she's chewing the lines, much like Dickens criticized the, the tragedians of their day for doing. Yeah. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Just take it in stride. Just exhale and take it in. I feel fatter on candles already. Yeah, me too. You I'm going to get some candles. candles. <laughs> yeah. So look, uh, this is how it goes. We got this man. His name's Chuck. He's from Poland. Yeah. Travis. Chucky Poland. Thank you for bringing that to the table. Yes. Thank you. I'm it's... sorry I couldn't give you a death date. Well, he died I... in the 1800s. I'm fucking mad at you. <laughs> it's all good. But we'll it's talk. Okay. It's <laughs> the The legends never are born or died. What is it? What are you talking right, about, Cody? Yeah, okay. yeah, shut up. I was, I was trying to do something <laughs> romantic. Can I plug right? my things now? Yeah. 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 Oh, serious. Thank you for coming so in. Started. Started. Plug away. Yeah. You got show dates coming PP. up, too. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, I'm going on tour this summer, and you can grab tickets. Uh, you go to twitter.com slash Asterios. Hmm. The pinned tweet has our uh, has our ticket links. We're going to be in Boston. We're going to be in New Jersey. Yeah. We're going to be in... Uh, we're going to a... We're playing a show at a goat farm in Texas. Really? What? Yeah. <laughs> You heard me in Caldwell, Texas. We're going up to Toronto. All, I, all places in between. There's a guy in a pizza shop in uh, Phoenix, and I'm like, and he's like, you could do a show at the back of my pizza shop. Hell, and I was fuck like, I will yeah. do that. Fuck yeah, Good I times. can and I will. Um, yeah. And so you, you know, you go to twittercom slash Asterios for my tour dates. Also, you can listen to my podcast. It's called the Loudest Podcast. Yes, it's me and my crazy girlfriend talking about. Very normal things like Survivor, CBS's Mom, CBS's The Big Bang Theory, all your CBS favorites. At a phenomenal oh. decibel level, mind you. Yeah, we're very loud. You go to theloudestpodcast.com or search for the loudest podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify. Delicious. Thanks for having me on. This was fun. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. All right. So thanks again, Asterios. Uh, you've been listening to Roast Mortem. Check us out at Roast Mortem. The Gmail account. Shoot us a Gmail with your angry complaints roastmortempodcast.com we got the roastmortemcast on instagram 
Twitter. We have a Patreon. Facebook. Facebook also. Patreon.com. Facebook.com. Who gives a shit? It's the internet. If you don't know it, now you know it. Go to your Google. Get your mom's credit card. (laughs) Run us one way. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Maybe. I can print you a picture of my face. Jerk off of my face. Whatever. My name is Travis Legion at (laughs) AOL.com. Cody, what are you doing? I am uh, at Cody McCann on Twitter, C O D Y M W C A W N. You can find me at Saunched, S A U N T C H T. And once again, Asterios, thank you. And also go Asterios, uh, patreon.com slash Asterios. Is it just Asterios? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. There you go. Fuck yeah. Thanks, Thanks, for, thank you. Thanks for coming in. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Until da- next time. Yes. Get roasted, history. Whoa. You need a, a zinger. Dude, oh, should we well, have, Thank you, Shane. Don't worry have, about it. We got zingers. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, Shane.